All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the stream, everybody. How are you all doing today? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Angelita, hello. 3AF, hello. Midnight and crazy, hello. Redcore, hello. Thank you so much for reminding people to hit the like button. Do appreciate it, Redcore. All right. Ah, that's a green drop. Um, I guess I'll just run over there. So much effort to run on my own legs. I don't know about that. <laughs> How is everyone today? Angelita, hi. <laughs> All right, let's grab this. It's another medium crop plot blueprint I do not need. Bo, hello. How are you doing today? Welcome on in, Bo. All right, there we go. Okay. So the goal today, guys, goal today is we are going to hit the blue zone again and see what we can take down and see if we can find anything good. There are very few and far between drops down there. So the goal is really just to go and try to find those. Um, I actually don't even think I need to do anything other than check on the Equus occasionally. So we're just going to head out. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Jess. How's it going? What are we hoping for? I'm hoping to discover the location of um, drops in the blue zone where I can find yellow drops so that we can create a loot run. Uh, because I really need to find yellow drops. I can't open them quite yet. I can open purple ones, but not yellow ones. Um, but I'm going to need to because I need a Parasur platform saddle and those only come in yellow drops. So I'm hoping... That if I find where they spawn, and how often they spawn, I will be a little bit more likely to be able to get some I can use. How are we all doing? Good. Ooh. They're getting a good amount of XP. I like it. I'm going to take him up to about 5k health and then work on leveling melee. That's the goal. Um, Jess, you're feeling a little meh and you have work tomorrow. I know the feeling. I, uh, I am very much not looking forward to, to going back to work tomorrow. I have enjoyed my, my time off very much so. Got my Christmas tree all together and I'm really enjoying that. So, I don't know. I'm ready to take like two months off for the holiday season. Can't do it, but I wish I could. <laughs> uh, will I find a turkey today? It's entirely possible because uh, the Thanksgiving event is on. I'll probably run into one. I will probably not try to take one on. They are a little strong for me. Unfortunately. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Scott, hi. How's it going? You can't shake the after effects of being a sick. That's the worst. <clears throat> Never fun when you're not feeling good. All right, checking for drops over this away. We'll look for drops along the way. I tried to kill the turkey on PS4 and died more than 30 times. Lost the Parasaur and a Terra. Yep. You basically need gigas to fight the turkeys. They are insanely strong. Like, actually insanely strong. All right, I want to make sure I'm on... Okay, that's the active group. Okay. All right, they're all attacking target. Wonderful. So we should be good. Three weeks of this. Oof, Jess. Oof. Not fun at all. Fear the gobblers. Yes, exactly. Dun, dun, dun. They'd be a little too strong for Iggy right now. Exactly. See? You guys get it. Um, Your mom says, you don't play Arc Genesis. Correct. I have played Genesis 1, but Genesis 2, I played about six hours of got incredibly bored because the map is um, boring and uh, and did not go back. Yep. 
I still have a server for it, uh, but I just... Genesis 2 is maybe the worst arc map they've ever made. In my opinion. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Just progressing through Primal Fear, taming a bunch of alphas for their eggs. Nice. It's a good way to start out. Super breed Rex to kill Turkey. True, you could use really, really good Rexes too. You have options. I'm gonna kill this guy. <laughs> Wah! Think he saw me? They don't do well out here. There we go. There it is. Get off of it! No, the Meganura. I was gonna get more organic polymer. Oh well. He's out of the way now, which is what matters. Do do do. No gigas on this map, so what would you kill the turkeys with? Reapers. Reaper kings. Absolutely reaper kings. Come on, guys. Get out of there. We're just causing more trouble the longer we stay. Ah! Oh, he coming. He's coming for us. I'm gonna run away. I don't want to fight that Carcanos. Um, super spinos. You could fight them with super spinos, I bet. Because there are plenty of spinos. And a weird misplaced Sarko. What are you doing over here, buddy? You're in very much the wrong spot. Come at me. Yeah, that's it. Do, do, do. Okay. This is what I needed to do. Um, do, do, do. I don't need all that. Um, non rideable. What's non rideable? What do you call the stego like dinos? Kentros? Are they better than stegos? No, no, they're not rideable. Um, they are PvP useful. They are very strong. They're definitely stronger than a Stego. Well, maybe not after the rework. Um, but generally speaking, slightly less useful than a Stego, although much faster. They are very quick little guys. Grab some of this. Put it on the blue crew. Not you. You have tons. How about you? Heal up. Man, those Karkinos did a number on these guys already. Um, do, do, do. More useful in PvP. That does seem to be the case. So annoyed the berries can't be... Bullet, unlike Mobile Arc. Yeah. Some of the design choices uh, that are different between mobile and PC are very interesting. And it's always something really little that gets you. Ugh. It's easy to forget. Aren't they able to reflect back attacks or something? Yeah, they like spike you with their tail. And it's very painful. And they think they do like a bleed. They're very, very strong. I've never actually, I think I've tamed one once, but I've never really used them. Hey, blue drop. We're going to have to kill this guy first. There, I'll annoy him. All right, they got it. 
Now I have to get rid of things that are heavy. Okay. Good job, guys. We murdered the rock drake. And we gotta murder the snake. That didn't take long. I don't really need all this meat, but I've got it. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. I'm really hoping for a Ravager saddle, because that would make this a lot easier. And a lot faster. Ravagers have way more weight and mobility in a pack. It would be nice to not have to ride the Gigantopithecus down. Um, do, do, do. Yeah, I suppose. Quit jumping! They always jump. Okay, there's nothing in there. Cool. Ooh. A single grenade. I find that rather useless. Alright, well, I think that's all the drops on this side that are easy to get to. Um, but they're always here. Just kind of hoping one of them will be yellow one of these days. Uh, Roselia, hello. I am doing really good today, as are the doggos. Yeah, my week was really good. Uh, we didn't go anywhere for Black Friday. Well, I didn't go anywhere to do Black Friday shopping. I did go get my Christmas tree. Um, so that was nice. But not a super crazy exciting day. Uh, Thanksgiving's super busy, as per usual. Holidays always are. I don't know. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Are you playing Ark Mobile? Got an Ascendant Bronto style blueprint. It's easy to craft metal wise. It costs 40k hide. Yep. That's, uh, that's about right. <laughs> Played Mobile Ark for years. You tried to bullet berry on PC, trying to kill it, and you died yourself. Yeah. That'll happen. Ooh. Blue zone drops. Blue zone drops a weapon. Mayhaps, perhaps. A weapon would be lovely, or maybe just a red gem. Could use that. Game's like, nah, you don't need anything good. Only flint. Flint and mushroom and flowers. There it is. Might as well collect the red gems while I can. Nothing. Nope. It's actually a pretty good spot. It's easy to see what's falling. Um, not playing Ark right now, cause Nova, cause why? I'm kind of waiting for Ark 2. It's like the big one. I'm ready for a different version of Ark, I think. I've been playing this game for so long. I feel like I need to shake it up. Can't wait for Ark 2. I am excited. Hopefully it's good. Recharge the goat while we head over to the other side. See if we can get the blue crew to follow me properly. How many do I have? Seven. Beautiful. Gotta figure out where all the yellow drops are. Um... 
Rick, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome on in. Gonna annoy this crab. Yep. Whoops. Uh, one of you can take it. Maybe you? Nah, you have a lot. You can hold it. Okay. Like, none of these guys are remotely weighed down, actually. You look a little bloody, but not bad. Okay. I think I'm missing one. Can't see this one. It's like behind the other guys. That's okay. Um, this away. I hate that I kind of have to let them get beat up by the manta. They do not do so well in the water. Um, do, during Thanksgiving break, you found a 450 Iguanodon and named it Sub to Iguanagami. Tyler, thank you. That's amazing. Crab legs, that's what's for dinner. Mm hmm. It's a delicacy for the Ravagers. I tell you what, this Ravager crew has made such a difference. I feel like I can actually go places now. It's great. Now I just gotta figure out where the drops are on this side. This is, like, difficult. Because this is the bigger side by far. But it's very hard to figure out, like, exactly where... Exactly where the drops are over here. They're always in, like, funky places that are hard to get to. And I just need, like, a good round of some that are easier to find. <laughs> Need stam. Uh, you got Rudolph and Primal Fear. Congrats, that's awesome. Tyler, you just realized Reapers are mutated Gigas and Rexes. Yeah, exactly. That was their whole theme. Um, a lot of the a lot of the creatures in. Aberration are just mutated versions of the base creatures on the island. It's actually one of my favorite things about it. I think it's very, very cool. It's a fun little sci-fi twist. I've lost three Ravagers. I don't even know how. They were all right behind me. Turn that off and conserve my charge. Where did I lose three Ravagers at? They were just behind me. I wish I could zoom out more so that I could always see who was following me. Why did you get stuck up here, you dummies? Oh my goodness. And now we're out of... Okay, cool. As always, in awe of how pretty this map is, especially the blue zone, right, Jess? I adore this map. I think it's so incredibly gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I don't give the Ravagers garlic butter. It's not good for them. It upsets their little tummies. They like the raw crab legs. Mm 
Okay. Now we have everybody. In theory, we'll be okay. You know what I probably need to do? Put some of these on my hot bar. Just in case I run into some freezing stuff. Could be important. Surprised I didn't make the Gigantopithecus mad. Alrighty. Now we're in it. Let's go. Debating. Do I go up there or let's go see if the little bridge has one. Sometimes the bridge might have one. That's the one I know. Feel like there should be some up there. I just don't know where they spawn. That's a very bloody iguanodon. No, leave it alone. Don't die, buddy. We saved him. I feel good about that. Okay, do we have everybody? Yes. Um, do, do, do. Rip the three Ravagers. They probably fell off somehow. Nah, they, they're they here. They just get stuck on rocks a lot. And trees. And various other things. Hi. Put him down. Nothing in it. All right. Roll rat scared me. All right, blue crew, this way. Come on. It's a very tricky place to take them through. It's very crowded. A lot of things to get stuck on. All right. Got them. Uh, mean Ravagers picking on the little goat. They are mean. That's why I had to stop them. Okay, I know where I am. We're by the waterfall that goes up to the other zone. I don't see any drops on these, which is a bummer. There we go. Ravager pack. Okay. Ravager pack has done well. All right, we're going to come over here and let the shine horn do its thing. Shine charge up a little. This is actually not a terrible place for a base. Got a little charge station. 
This is what I wanted to see was that bridge right there across the water. I don't see any drops there, but I think sometimes there are. All right, we'll have to go down and around and see what's up. What on earth is that roll rat doing? I think he like burrowed down in the tree. That was so weird looking. It scared the bejesus out of me. I thought it was a basilisk for a second. Um, much mouse, you missed my vids. Oh, much mouse, thank you. Welcome on into the stream. You need alpha dodos? You only have an alpha RG for alpha eggs. Oof. Hi, Angelita. Thank you so much for hanging out. And I, Blood Fox, you ended up moving. I may have a chance at a better college with an internship program. That's fantastic, Midnight. Congrats. That's very good news. I hope that works out. Roll Rat's just a little confused. Just a little. How's your charge looking? All right, we're full up. I don't know how it broke. I was using it fine and then it just stopped working. I hate that. Come on. Or this way. Okay, I think that's all of them. Okay, I've got seven still. That's a good start. Alrighty. I have to watch the pack so carefully. Wish you could play Arc Primal Fear. We'll play on mobile and PS4. I feel ya. I wish uh, I, j I wish that mobile was a little bit more robust, and I wish that uh, more games were on mobile in general, so I could take them with me wherever I went. That's unfortunately not how things work. <laughs> so sometimes these bridges will have a thing. Okay, so that's where I just was. Lick plant over here by the bridge. I saved the Iguanodon. Not bad. All his hat's broken. Uh, do I still have a mod application? Yes, I do. And it is always open. Uh, Generation, finally you see me playing the PC version? I've been playing it for a long time. Snake. I've been playing PC version for, yeah, a very long time now. Um, since the first year the game was released, actually. So I like it that much. Really? He broke my boots. Extremely rude. Oh. That makes up for it, I guess. What are you picking up? Stop that. Picking up heavy things. Not off the edge! Not off the edge! Oh 
Well, one got himself nice and stuck, but otherwise we're doing okay. What do I need? More polymer and more hide? I'm trying to put this on the legs. That doesn't work. This is the nice part about this. is um, It makes it very easy to repair on the go. I like this. Generation Z, then you missed out on a lot? Yes. I mean, I've been playing this game for a very long time, but um, on stream, I've been playing it for... Oh, gosh, guys. How long has it been? I think I've been playing PC since the channel started, because I started on a PC series originally. Could you just not be stuck? That'd be... That'd be pretty good. There you go. He got it. He figured it out. <laughs> Still nothing. Ooh, almost got hit by the mushrooms. Explore note, lick plant. Rock drakes. All right. The bummer is I'm pretty sure this is not where the drops spawn because I still don't see any drops. None, not a one. And like, what's the point if there's no drops over here? Oh, hi. Do, do, do. Trying to remember the way back. Getting pretty deep now. Nothing. It's so pretty. So pretty. Um, okay, so there's a charge station over there. Up here is the grotto area. Is there a drop down here? No? I was thinking maybe there might be a drop down here. There's certainly Baryonyx. 
And plenty of Karkonos. Do want a charge station, but that's okay. I get real nervous about how much light my pet has left. I'm going to look for a bug. There's one. Go grab the bug. Hey, buddy. No, no, no. Land, please. Okay, I'm not, I'm not getting that bug. Could be a problem. Aha! A charge station. I want it on, please. Ah, oh, there we go. This is the grotto area. This is where cave number two is. Which is not a bad staging point if I could make a base to have a second base. Um, cool wolf. Am I a gamer girl? No offense, just asking. I am not what people probably think of when they think of a gamer girl. I am someone who plays games and I do happen to be a female. Army of Ravagers over Raptor Army. At least here, for sure. Very helpful in this part of the world. A Baryonyx. I wish I had a Spyglass. Alright, just letting my goat charge up. Problem is, is there are, like, no drops. Is difficult. Rawr. All right, now I will need to eventually tame a Baryonyx because I'm going to need one to go in there. I'm going to need one for the other cave. Well, that's a strong uh, Sarko. Hello, Baryonyx. I wish I knew what level you were. He's just chilling with us. Oh, hi, Ravager. Megalosaurus. I don't actually know how hurt all of my dudes are. That berry's awfully close. Okay, not super hurt. You're a little hurt. Uh oh. They always think they can mess with us. Don't know why that guy was doing circles, but he was. You're a little hurt. Luckily, we have plenty of meat. Um, does the Iggy have a berry saddle? No. Sintimon, don't I play again any games other than Ark? Yes, just not typically on this channel because YouTube channels tend to do better when they're based off of one game. Uh, variety channels tend to not do as well if it's a gaming channel. So, yes, I do. I play many other games. Just not here. Velasagoti, hello. How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome on in. Do a little healing. Okay, I've Nevada Switch experience so far has been really good. Velasagoti, oh my gosh. They're so good, aren't they? Did you get a uh, did you get arc on the switch or just the reg just the switch and you're still working on the games. Because I, I love my Switch very much. I do recommend getting them. Alrighty. Probably past ready. Just wanted to make sure we were all healed up. Yeah. So this is definitely the grotto where the second cave is. Over there is the, yep, radiation zone, which we can't go into yet. 
at least we've healed up a little first. Okay. Still don't see any drops. All right. That means we're going to vamoose. We don't need this zone. Good to know how to get here, though. If I can remember it. Dun, dun, dun. Believe it's this way. Could be wrong. Again, moving towards the radiation area. Probably not ideal. Um, doo -doo -doo. Bought it for ARX. That's all you have so far. I've been looking at other games, though. There are some pretty good other games on the Switch as well. And there are a lot of ports. Some of them have been a little rough, and some of them are actually really good. So, plenty of options. Do you keep looking at them? I don't think you'll regret, regret getting the Switch. Uh, one day you shall explore the many blue holes that leads into the ocean. Oh. The ocean terrifies me. Honestly, water on this game is just... It's a little frightening. There's a lot going on with it. Okay, here we go. I made my way back. Something is very angry. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. So really, I've only seen a few drops in the blue zone and they're always in like other than that one side they're in really weird places so i am kind of wondering if that's just like the mo is that we always run to the one side and check that place although i haven't seen a yellow drop over there yet so i don't know how common they are and the drops in general seem to be kind of rare over there don't know friend and you looked into getting a server Price tag's a bit hefty. Trying to talk her into becoming your patron so you can play on your server when you get it. It's a great idea, Velocity. Um, actually, I think I am just about ready to get that one loaded. Alright, I think we're all charged up. Just about ready to get the Arc uh, Switch server up and running. I'm actually pretty excited about that one. Do, 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 do. Let's try the other bridge, because there's more than one. I don't think I see a drop over there, but we should check anyway. Seven. Always counting my, my little guys. All right, I'm going to kill this guy first, because he's in the way. Never mind. They're not in the way anymore. Hi, buddy. There you go. I like that they're low levels. That makes them easy to kill. There we go. There we go. Shine horn. So 
Sometimes there are drops over there. I see nothing. There are a lot of charge stations here, though, which I do like. Alrighty. Nothing. But I do think there's a way up over there. That might be worth exploring. Yeah. This is where I normally come to tame Ankies on this game. Can I just... Why? Okay. Clap on, let's go. He charges faster than I think. I'm tempted to check out that area. Let's do it. Don't know what's over here. Du, du, du. Guys, Aberration is such a gorgeous map. It's ridiculous. It's also actually super confusing to travel, but I love it. Hey, Ravagers. Look, there's more Ravagers. Good job, guys. Uh oh. What's max level? Please don't get my stuff stuck. All right. Okay. Uh, Whoops. No, not the Iguanodon! Well, neither of those were the, um, big creature. Oh my god, a drop! I don't know if I can get up there. That's very far. I should have picked up that red stuff. Whoa. Hey, a charge station. Yeah, I don't know any way up there. There's a charge station over here, too. Let's check this one out first. Hi, Snakey. Come here. Get everybody on the same page. All right, so there's a rock drake nearby. Yeah, I don't know how on earth I would get to the green drop, but I did finally see a drop at least. That's something. Hello, rock drake. Um, <laughs> okay, the Ravager Raiders OP. Yeah, not bad. Shadowman, hello. You think you missed a lot? Not too much. Bam. 
Bam. Um, not too much, really. I've just been running around the blue zone. I'm trying to figure out where the loot crates um, tend to spawn here. And I'm not having a lot of luck. So I'm kind of just navigating, looking for drops. Um, yeah, trying to figure out where they where they might hang out. I think there's one up here. Oh, I might be able to get to it. Really? It's literally a fence for them. There we go. Oh yeah, here we go. This is a very long way to come for a green drop. But at least I found a drop location. That's one. Oh, hey, Shinehorn. I'm going to let mine recharge while he does his thing. Nice. I think we're getting into... Yeah, this isn't radiation zone. This is where the surface is on this side. we got to be getting close to it. Oh, a blue drop! Oh my gosh, this is where all the drops are. No, stay with the shine horn. Okay, I'm done with that. I think I can go around and get that too. Oh, purple! That's a very red ravager. Dang it. All right, come on, everybody. Purple drop. I found all the drops over here. They're all in this peachy zone. He's a megalo. Come here. Okay, we're all doing okay. Where's seven? I literally just had seven. I have six now. Um, okay. I'm going to grab this, and then we're going to go searching for my other lost Ravager friend. He's stuck on a rock somewhere. But I want this purple drop. Oh, that's a lot of Ravagers. There's four of them. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Luckily, they're all low level. Wow. That was silly. Okay, so there is the blue drop up there. Come on, guys. Two, three, four, five, six. I don't know where number seven is. I could get to that blue drop, but I want to get my other Ravager first. I gotta find him. Probably stuck on a tree somewhere. I thought I had all seven when I was over here. Three, four, five, six. Where did they go? Nobody knows. Gosh dang it. 
I literally had them all coming down here. I thought I counted them. Ugh. Come on, everyone. Alrighty. That's really annoying. Um... Where the heck did my other Ravager go? There he is. Why? What are you stuck on? There you go. Okay, come with me. There we go. What? But I just found the one that was stuck. Oh my god. My brain hurts. Where's the other one? I keep losing them. Troll, how's it going? My favorite Paris or platform hunter, Guan game. Mm hmm. All right, letting them recharge. That's ridiculous. I keep losing one Ravager. It's a very long way to come for drops and to have none of them be yellow is frustrating. Ellen, how are ya? This is when it would be nice to have collars like in Bubble. It would be. Oh my gosh. It'd be so nice. I mean, I know they have tracking devices, but it's not the same. Okay. There he is. Quit beating up my guys. Really? Stop getting stuck. There. I was not done exploring over here. Fine. Half. Okay. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Success. Dang it, all the way down for one Ravager to get stuck. Come on. I hate these rocks. I actually despise these rocks. This sucks because they're metal. This is going to be really heavy. Ravager Squad or Monkey Man Squad be the superior group? Uh, Schwal. Ravager Squad is definitely stronger. They have more stamina. They have more melee, generally speaking. Um, they're a little bit more mobile. They're faster. Yeah, I really don't care. No. Ridiculous. Little trees are the bane of Ravager passing. They really are. It's so frustrating. No, I didn't want to give him all of them. Just half.
Okay. There we go. It's going to respawn, and then I'll have to do the whole thing again. But at least that's a start. So I found three drops up here. There's one that spawns there, one that spawns up here, and then one that spawns way up there that I think I can get to, which is not bad. That's a little trio, which means I could theoretically build a base at a charging station near here if I could build a base. Why? I just went through here. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. One of those hurts. One of those hurts like a lot. Oof. My guys are looking a little bloody. Now there's a megalo. There it is. Come on, everybody. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um... Oh, this is very twisty. I will be shocked. Oh no! Okay, bad, 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 bad. Ow. All right. There are spores in the air that I wasn't looking at, so that's a bad zone. Um, not great. Oh, there's so many bad things here. Yeah, that's just bad piled on top of bad. All right. One, two, three, four. I still have all seven. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna need your glow. Got it. Okay. Nope. Okay, I am protected, but that whole zone is full of the freezing spores, which is not great. Alright. I don't like that. I'm officially out of those mushrooms. Fun! What about this direction? Come this way? Okay, there's nothing over this way. That must be getting close to the surface that way. So I found two that are accessible before we get to the break. That's not bad. There are two over there that I can actually get to before the spores are a problem. Another Ravager. Oh, so many bad things. Gosh dang it. I don't like having to fight all these. My Ravagers are very hurt. Okay. There's 
spores? I don't see any spores. More stuff over that away. Nope, a megalo. That's nice. Okay, these guys are too bloody. These guys are too bloody. Let's go back to the charging station. Because there's not enough charging stations over here. Let's go back to the charging station. I need a charging station. We need to rest up. I need to heal all my dudes. They're a little hurt. Uh, go down. This is a tactical retreat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. No, there's a megalo. I remember not whence I came. He's mad. All oh, heck. Which direction did I come from? Oh, there. Hey, you. Can we not? Can we not? Oh, my God. Monkeys, dude. Stop and pick all the bushes. Okay, guys. Let's go. Four, five, seven. All right, we're going to go to this charging station because it's the closest one I can find. Let's heal everybody up. There's a blue drop over there. No idea how to get there. Can't wait for the day that I have my own. Oh, a green drop. Oh, my God. It's next to that other charging station. That might be an option. But first things first, uh, you're very hurt. Yes, Basilisk would be so nice for knocking things out. Uh, it could be. Getting the cat out of the sink. <laughs> Fabulous. Why are the blues being hunted? Shrawl, uh, I'm looking for drop locations. Specifically, I'm trying to find yellow drops, because I know they spawn in the blue zone, but I haven't seen one yet. Um... So I've been wandering around the blue zone looking for good drop locations, which I've really only found two of so far. And at those, I'm specifically looking for yellow drops, but I, I have had no luck. Um, because if the yellow drops only happen in the radiation zone, I will never be able to advance in this game. Yeah, so that would suck. Anyone else found a blank object in the Thanksgiving drops on Ark? That's probably a... Yeah, that's probably a fantastic bug that they've included. How do you know where a rock drake jumps on the Iggy? No! Cosmo, hello! You are not too late at all. Welcome on in. Okay, you're a little better off now. These guys are all so hurt. Oh my goodness. Do you think the Switch is worth buying? Seems like they got over a decent update like a month ago. Yes. Um, the Switch is definitely worth buying, and not just for ARC. There are other games that work really, really nicely on the Switch. I have very much enjoyed mine. I've had mine for a couple of years. Fantastic. It really is. Um, very good console. Do wish they occasionally had game sales, but, you know, Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Consumable object, just don't know what it is. That's terrifying. 
Mark, all you found is coloring. Only use Basilisk for Gen 1, so even a low level would be nice for getting free Torpor damage in a series like this. It would be if you could ride it. Can you ride them without saddles? I don't think you can. I use, uh, I use Equus for Torpor Shual. They actually work really well. I've knocked out Ravagers, high level Ravagers and Parasers with them. As long as you're too, a little careful, it's not too bad. Cool. Snake. Thought I heard something. Oh, roll rat. Roll rat alerted me to the presence of snake. We don't need that. No one needs 45 pounds worth of fur. Uh, baby, how's it going? My holiday was really good. How was yours? Found awesome stuff in your baskets. More cuddleberries. Artifact that is still flak armor. Yes. I love the mobile Thanksgiving event. Um, I actually love most of the mobile events, but the Thanksgiving one is kind of cool. Cornucopias. Don't need 20 pounds worth of fur. Just need to get them all topped up. Ellen, I'm definitely going to try that recipe. Tony, you found a few consumable like that today? That's really odd. I wonder what it is. Or what it was supposed to be. Are the tanks so you can make them attack, then pass them for a bit, then attack again, repeat. True. Very true. I hadn't thought about that. We're working our way back up to full health. We're close to it. These guys have done a fantastic job. Jason, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Cosmo. Yeah, definitely Tama Morella Tops. They're very good. They're, they're kind of an interesting tame, too. Because they're aggressive together, but alone they run. Um, and they're actually qu pretty fast, so... Uh oh. Oh, Rock Drake. He's coming. I mean, that went down pretty fast. Whoop. My uh, light pet just went out. Okay, the blue crew is looking a little better. <laughs> I can call you Dragon Boy. Jason, I will try to remember that. Sometimes I have trouble remembering names if they're not the ones written as your channel name. Uh, Mark, thank you so much. I'm really glad that my videos have helped you out. That's fantastic. That is why I made them. It's a good feeling. All right, most of these guys are about to level up. Do, 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 including me. Do, do, do. I do not know how to make my Gigantopithecus heal up faster other than by standing next to a Lick Plant. But that's okay. We'll do what we can do. Um, sacrifice the tame to be grabbed and then Mega Kicks with the horse and pray. Yeah, having... Getting Megalos would be great. I do not have access to Stone Stuff, Schwal. Schwal, I can't even get a... Dang it, I didn't want to pick that up. I'm going to get a little more charge capacity on this guy. Are you full up yet? 
Just... There we go. Um, no, so there is no stone stuff. But it might be worth bringing, like, a, a decent Ravager to be sacrificed as a pickup and then trying to tame one. That's a possibility. I don't know how good of a possibility that is, but it is uh, potentially an option. Okay, so I found a good few drops over this way. That's... it's something. It's not a ton, but it's something. And it's gone. It broke. There was a drop right here and it's gone. I waited too long. That's funny to me. Oh, there's a bunch of Ravagers right there. Look at them go. They're very stuck. I find that funny. So funny that I'm going to leave them. Three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Why am I so we down all the time? I hate it. I hate how easy it is to lose a Ravager on the rocks. What? Just pop into existence like that? That's so rude. Okay. But honestly, um, I'm good. Let's go check. Maybe the other zone again and see if there's anything better because this area clearly is not going to be amazing. It heals, but not as fast as it used to. Aberration very balanced. Oh, yeah. Totally. Totally. What I think the most dangerous Wyvern type is poison is probably one of the most dangerous because they can knock you off your actual, um, they can knock you off of your mount. They hit you while you're on your mount or can if you're not wearing a gas mask. Um, lightning are definitely the strongest though. Yeah. I'm counting. Seven. Okay. It's constant with these guys. Ridiculously easy to lose. He knew he made a mistake. Uh, he tried to run at the last second. Didn't drop any wishbones. What didn't? Turkeys drop wishbones, but I haven't killed any yet. Blue crew, please. Actually, this works fine. Let's head back and look at the other known drop zone. So, so far I've come up with two decent drop regions. One of them is much harder to get to than the other.
Okay. Always checking. Always checking. Da, da, da. Uh, half the fun is looking for the drops yourself. Managed to find a great map for drops on this map. Shows locations as well as what colors can spawn there. DM'd it to you if you give up. Oh, thank you, Schwal. Thank you. I know some of them. I actually am going to go look at it. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is what I thought. I know some of the drop colors and locations. Um, Quite a few of them, but some of them are like really, really tricky. Okay, most of that's radiation. Most of them only go up to purple. Oh, no. Is that actually the case? Okay. That just means I have to go to the very edges of the blue zone to get a yellow. The very, very edges. That's going to be ooh, painful. Potentially the very edges. Yeah. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I was going over there, and that's where all the ones I know are, which is, they're easier to get to over there, too. Okay. Ah! No! No! Why? What the heck? Oh, good lord. That might save me. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't have any stim berries. Four, three, two. Oh my gosh. Wow. That sucked. Okay. I'm fine now. That was a little too close for comfort. Hey, look, a mushroom. I must have just accidentally hit one of those. Can I not split this? Okay. We're fine. I'm fine. Okay. This away. This away. Woo! That got me my level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Always counting. I'm level fifty eight. I don't know what level I can open red drops or yellow drops at, but it's got to be soonish. Okay, come on, everybody. Let's get the heck out of Dodge for a minute. Do, do, do. Might be worth it for the sanity to drop the loot quest. Focus on Megalo taming attempts. Getting deep into blue won't be too bad with Megalo squad. It's not too bad with the Ravager squad either, other than that they keep getting stuck on stuff and I lose them. Um, that's the only, like, really frustrating part. Like, the Ravager Squad's pretty good. Uh, they won't be good for the Radiation Zone, but I'm not there yet. And it's hard to tame when I can't, like, make any... 
narcotics. I basically only can use horses for taming, which is fine. It's just a little tricky. All righty. Those spores. Mm hmm. Um, I think it's 45 or 50. You're not sure. So the aberration drops are a little higher level. Um, I was able to open the purple drops at level 50. Where from? So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to open, uh, oh, there's a ravager. Hi, buddy. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to open a uh, yellow drop set level like 70? Maybe 60. Might be 60, 65, somewhere in there. We shall see. Can you tame more Ravagers? Like to see around 20 Ravagers? You're losing one every second. I... No, I would hate that. <laughs> I could absolutely have a pack of 20 Ravagers, but, oh, man, I... That would drive me insane. They would be all over the blue zone, and I would just get death messages everywhere I went. How about I check cave drops? Maybe blue and green zone caves have drops of useful stuff in them. Oh, yeah. Um, I can't even do the green zone cave, because the green zone cave... Three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Uh, the green zone cave requires you to be on foot. I don't have any weapons to take anything on, on foot. <laughs> That's the issue. I need to get a smithy so I can make the good weapons so that I can attack the cave. I have a good crossbow blueprint. I just can't make it until I get a smithy. I have a good pike blueprint. I have a good sword blueprint. I have good armor blueprints. I can't do anything with any of them until I get a smithy. Um, so I can't make a smithy. Until I get the other thing. Blue cave. Schwal, to do blue cave, you need a baryonyx because it's uh, underwater. It's the grotto cave. Three, four, five, six, seven. Fish. Yeah. I would need a baryonyx, and I don't have a saddle for them yet because those also drop in the yellow or red uh, drops. Are there thorny dragons on this map? Nope. There are no smithy saddle creatures at all. No beavers. Um. Oh, hey, look at that. Nothing. Come on, everybody. That Sarko is going to get himself. Come on, everyone. Seven. Yeah, Diamond. It's a, it's a whole thing. That's, so basically what I've had to do is get myself enough of an army to get into the blue zone and try to find yellow drops. Now, the yellow drops, they're not impossible to find. They do exist. They're just really deep into the blue zone. Uh, most blue zone drops are going to be green, blue, or purple. So it's a little frustrating. Um... It's been a bit of a struggle. Because it's just slow. It's just slow. I've had to do quite a bit of offline harvesting of drops. And I still haven't been able to find any yellow ones. It's ridiculous. Most of them are down in the radiation zone. I think all of the red ones are in the radiation zone. Which is terrifying. It's not what you want to do unless you've got a good rock drake. Alrighty, let's go check these two drop locations again. Two, three drop locations. This, if I'm not mistaken, yep. Yeah. This area is the area where they might be.
This edge has the potential yellow drops. If they spawn here at all. At least you know where to go now. Yeah, I knew where to go for these ones. They just haven't been spawning yellow. They've been spawning purple and uh, blue. I've never seen them spawn green, so I'm pretty sure I'm in the right spot. Pretty sure. Come on. So there's a drop that spawns there. My gloves are very annoying. Okay. Wonder if this is accurate. Which means there may also be some down there. Okay. Um This drop is also not up. Which means maybe over here on this edge of the lake there are some. I found like four. Which creature is good for Swamp Cave on PC and mobile? Um, that's a great question. Swamp Cave on PC and mobile. Probably looking at a wolf is really good on mobile. Wolves are really, really strong in there. Make sure you wear a gas mask. Um, trying to think of what else would be good. PC, I would probably take in a Baryonyx. Baryonyx are pretty good. Or a Megatherium. If you could fit a Megatherium in there, that would be really, really strong. Hello, Rock Drake, that I'm about to murderize. Smack. The sound in this area is always a little glitchy, and I don't like it. Oh, that was a 108. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm in generally the right place. I'm where I think I am. Oh, some of them made it up. All but one. Come on. He's really struggling. I can't push him. That's like reset him. Ugh, annoyed. You know what? Everybody. Stop there. Not down there. But there might occasionally be drops over here. Or potentially down there. Or maybe up there. I'm not seeing any right now. 
Good to know, though. Do, do, do. It's good, good spot to check. And I should also check down below. Come on, everybody. This is where it gets a little risky. Because they or I could fall. Charge station down there. How do I get down there? Uh, no, I know where that is. I know exactly which way that is. Okay. And I see nothing. I'll be careful. Okay. And then over there, I think over there. Yeah, I think over there is where I found the other two drops. So there are a couple of drops like down in that direction that are kind of difficult to get to. I do have a zipline creature, so it's not impossible, but it's not great. But I'm not seeing anything today. Caves, mobile, wolf's berries, nothing else comes close. Uh, PC, Megatherium. Megatherium do really well in the Swamp Cave because it's 99% bugs. So Megatherium are really, really strong in there. Da, da, da. All right, going to go hit up the charging station real quick. Make sure my Shinehorn's good to go. And then see if there's anything worth looking at over there. I doubt it. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, Isaiah, how's it going? Smoo, hello. How are you guys? What did you miss? Not a ton. Uh, I've been wandering on the blue zone for a very long time looking for yellow drops, and I've had absolutely no luck so far. It's been great, really. <laughs> um, yeah, it's... It's just such a struggle. I, I know that they're on this end of the blue zone. I just have not been able to find them. Mm -hmm. I think a pack of ice titans would be quite neat. Very obtainable. Hmm. Indeed. Beds are sleeping bags. That's true. I wouldn't need to ferry the ravagers around if I had that. I only have sleeping bags, though. And those don't last very long because I can't make a bed. And even if I could, I can't place it on anything. Because I have no foundations. Once I get a Parasur, you can best believe I will be... Oh my god. I will have little stone cliff platforms all over the map. He's Halloween. He has orange. Um, Even though we're well past that. He might be Thanksgiving, actually. Frogo. Ravagers. Nothing good at all. Cool. He looks stuck. Dun, dun, dun. Bag doesn't get deleted if you teleport to it, right? Just don't respawn in it, and it should potentially be fine. Hmm. Do they not? I actually don't know. I've never really used them for teleporting. It's possible. I really just want one of these drops to show up. I think that's all I need. Just if one of them would respawn, that'd be great. 
Because I found two earlier in this direction, and then they disappeared. Three, four, five, six, seven. Counting, counting, wherever I go. It would just be so great if these drops could um, appear while I'm over here. Oh, for crab ambush potential. Mm hmm. Always in this area. Aberration doesn't have a safe zone, really. <laughs> Nothing there. Nothing here. No, no, no. Be careful. Yeah, I don't think there are drops over here. Yeah, there's basically no drops over here. Not until you get to the radiation zone, which is down that away. Cool. Back up we go. So my headset's about to die, so that's fun. Um, may Gigantos hold weapons? If not, why not? They have thumbs. They cannot. They can wear helmets, but they cannot hold weapons. Mantis, on the other hand, can hold weapons. Have no use for them. They do have hands. It seems a little weird that they wouldn't be able to, uh hold weapons. I do understand from a balance perspective because they're already actually pretty strong. Du, du, du. A question for you, Aguana. Are you still friends with Mental? Oh my gosh. Um, I haven't talked to him in a very, very long time. I would say it's been at least two years since I've heard from him. Um... Last I checked in, he was doing okay, but he's off living his life and stuff and hasn't been playing as many uh, video games, so he just kind of drifted away from the channel. Du, 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 du. Gonna run up here. Oh, That's good. Need a, need a little break here. Switch my headset. So frustrated by the lack of drops. It's. I know they exist. I know they're here. Just don't know how to get them. The fun part about this area is um, too far up for the nameless to spawn, but far enough down for the blue zone drops. Of the. Of the earthquakes, it's nice. I can't hear anything. Am I still friends with Schwab? Yes. Yes, I am actually. Bevel, it's 3.45 for you. Oh my gosh, in the morning? That's so early. How? How are you awake? <laughs> Makes more sense for a Gigantopithecus to hold picks uh, than it does a mantis. I know, right? And I have ears again. <laughs> Lovely. Stop walking. It's being annoying. All right. Okay. I can figure this out. I know I can. I know I can. Exit to the blue zone. That's over where I just was. I bet those are all, like, up high. Those are all down at the very edge of the blue zone before it turns into the radiation zone is where those yellow drops are. This is going to be so difficult to find these. <sighs> I guess I'm mobile. Are dungeon only? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they're not super worth it. They're cool, but they're not, like, they're not that great. Came to my villa, don't really like it. Yeah. Frickin gift corns can also heal your dinos. Gift corns? What are those? What are those? Guys, the struggle is real. I'm going to have to do some, like, actual searching for this stuff and see if I can't find it. It's very hard to find. Let's go check and see what ridiculous number of horses I have to kill now that I've been out and about for, like, two hours. Okay. If I can get these even all back to my base. Talking about Primal Fear. Gotcha. Which I still need to play. Everyone keeps asking me about it. Oh, it's so nice to have it be daylight. Ah. I feel like this map is, like, always dark. I feel like it's really weird because even when it's, like, 50% day, 50% night, it feels like more of the day is night. Come on, guys. You can do it. Ignore the piranhas. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh. We currently have all seven. Force army to send a max level megalode to KO it. Yep. That's actually the goal. I was breeding them up for uh, health because I'm fairly certain that they would get murdered if I took one in by itself. But with a Ravager pack for protection, I might be able to pull it off if I could get it to pick up, um, if I could get it to pick up one of my Ravagers while I kicked it, it might work. Maybe. I should test the sleeping bag thing. I don't have very many to spare. That's the problem. I think I only have like three or four. I don't even have them set up yet. Like, I just spawn and run back to my base because I can. Because <laughs> it saves sleeping packs. But I could definitely set one up. No reason not to do that. Mm -hmm. Don't mind me asking, how is Nacho doing? Like, Nacho the person, the, the mod? Or Natsu. My dog. Which one? Da, da, da. Is anyone else on Mobile Tame Bigfoot and he just randomly disappeared from inside your base? No. They don't usually disappear on me. No drop. Um, do, do, do. Isaiah, I already answered that. Ah, gotcha. Nacho. Yes, Nacho's doing good. Uh, he checks in every so often. Sometimes he'll stop by and call me smelly or something. <laughs> He's doing good. Uh, he got busy with school. He's grown up, I believe. He's probably getting close to college age now so haven't seen him in a while either but um he checks in every few months or so says hi do, do, do. people gotta go on and live their lives and though we miss them dearly on the channel i'm glad that they're doing what they gotta do to be successful and happy for themselves kp just named your first bigfoot today nice a mobile Bigfoot are really good for caves? Yes. Yes, they are. Because you can give them helmets. And uh, they're pretty strong. They're right up there with wolves. I don't know which one is stronger, technically. I just know it's easier to get a high-level wolf. Because you can, breathe, you can tame them from the snow cave. Hello, welcome back. 
Mark, you tamed a level 18, brought it to your base, flew off to the obelisk. When you came back, it was missing. wasn't even on your tame list. Oh, one of those. That bug happens occasionally. Um, it happens with all sorts of different creatures. It's not just Gigantos. I know exactly the bug you're talking about. It's it's very frustrating because it's one they can't fix because they don't know what causes it or why. Seems pretty random. <laughs> Tyler, are Megalos worth it on mobile? Because you really want one. Um... I mean, they don't really have much purpose, like, just like Rexes don't really have much purpose, but they're fun. They're fun to run around on um, and play with. They are very strong, and uh, they don't really get, they don't get aggro because they're cave tame. so if you tame them in the cave, they're pretty good. Actually, I'm going to do this first. All that time, and this is all I got to show for it. <laughs> Need more drops. Why am I so way down? You're not carrying that much. Neither am I. This Giganto has, like, no weight. Most of them don't, to be fair, but still. Always get lost in caves. Aberration would get you. Oh, good lord. Okay, it's not that many. Because they didn't actually have a chance to breed while I was up here, so it's really not that many. Hey, the adults don't disappear through the ground. That's kind of nice. Okay, well. We did what we had to do. Um, would you rather tame a Spino or a Rex? Uh, I prefer Rexes, personal, personally. Rekor, knowing rooms is a lot harder than what Iguana makes it out to be. Um, I mean, some maps are harder than others. Schwal is right. Uh, knowing Grimms is a war of attrition between the drops and your sanity for aberration. It's, aberration is rough. Um... Aberration is definitely the most difficult of the no Ingrams maps that I've had to do so far. It's, there just aren't any. Like, there's very, very few drops. This little triangle of drops, there's like four drop locations right here. And being up and out of the way in the entrance to the surface is really the best solution I have found for surviving early game. And then there's just no foundations like there's no building structures whatsoever so it's really difficult to make progress aberration is probably the hardest and gen 2 is the easiest yeah i would say so as well um we i haven't tested extinction yet extinction might also be tricky just because of the drop defense um that does make it pretty hard but that would be about it <laughs> Unsure Pancake, hello. I'm doing pretty good. Nathan, this is a single player game. That's PvE. Apple juice or lemonade? Ooh. Lemonade, but I'm allergic to lemons, so I'd probably have to choose apple juice, but I like lemonade better. Lemonade's less sweet. Okay. 
Go over here and do my due uh, diligence for checking these drop locations. And then probably just going to head back down and look for the ones in the blue zone again because those are the best ones I know. Nothing. Nothing. Whole lot of nothing. Nothing anywhere. There's just nothing. I don't even know why I'm bothering to go up there. Um... Zillow army would be needed for the drop defense. Like, you get good stuff. Um, okay. Is the Dillo army enough? Because those drop defenses can get pretty rough. Like, Ab would be a lot more fun with co-op. Charging into the blue zone with a team, it would be a lot more interesting than Brick for Brains or Avagers. Yeah. It would be really helpful to have a tribe on the Snow Ingrams. Uh, I feel like that would make it a lot easier. Single player is really tough. Uh, I'll give it that. It would also suck competing for the drops that you had. So being in a tribe is really like the only way to do it. That I could see. That could be fun. Once I'm done with the Scorched Earth uh, No Ingram server, I do plan to um, do an aberration server. And hopefully, hopefully we'll have enough patrons playing. And hopefully there will be enough people interested in doing this challenge that it can be fun. I hope. Because a whole bunch of us on Gigantopithecus might, might make it. But you also don't want to be down there alone if one of your people dies. Hard Knock Season 2 on Ab? Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, that would be about accurate, too. This is, this is nothing if not Hard Knock. <laughs> Spending money on Amber worth it? Cosmo, it depends on what you're looking for um, and what you want to get. I have spent money on Amber. I do think it's worth it if you have some specific things in mind. Um, for example, certain collars are really good to spend money on. Um, Carno pheromones are usually worthwhile. Like any breeding stuff is usually worthwhile to spend Amber on. If you're allergic to lemons, how are you able to eat that lemon ring pie that you made for Thanksgiving? Uh, not without pain, Red. It's a fairly mild allergy, but it still it still does get me. I get some pretty nasty hives. Luckily, that's what they make Zyrtec for. I should be sponsored by Zyrtec. I take it enough. Once you get a griffin on mobile, Amber is basically free. Yep, that's true. You can just go around and pick up all the drops. <laughs> okay. So waiting for the Toast Village reset to Hardcore Brutal Knowing Grims, you thrive off of pain and suffering. That's going to be an interesting one. I do need to do that one as well. Uh, the server's kind of just sitting there right now. I should reboot it sooner rather than later. Do, do, do. Always so busy, though. Life happens, and then I forget what I'm supposed to be doing with stuff. These fish make me crazy. There's just so many of them. Oy. I miss running around on a Ravager. It was so much faster. So much faster. Once I get a rock drag, all of this drop hunting becomes easy, guys. Like, so easy. It's going to be great. Dun, dun, dun. What would you like to add to ARC if you paired with wildcard? Um, structures on aberration drops. <laughs> uh, honestly. And feeding troughs. 
feeding troughs to all of the loot drops as well. Um, in reality, though, like talking seriously, I mostly want the game to be optimized. I think they have enough content, right? Um, I feel like there's plenty of creatures. There's plenty of maps. That's not what we need anymore. I feel like what we could do is we need some, like, goals, some quests, something... Something to keep the game interesting. Challenge modes, preset challenge modes, uh, stuff like that could be really cool to add in. Change the name of the series to the definition of insanity. Hmm. Yep, Schwell, it's... It's feeling a little repetitive. A metal ramp I can't make. I'll have you know. And it's dark again. I don't like that. Be daytime. I want it to be daytime. Alright. Good to go. Hard Knock Season 2. It'd be fun. Uh, and you only did a yellow drop. Yeah. Daughter applied for an orange shabby from a rescue over by her. She and your granddaughter are fired up. Oh, that's awesome. I hope they get it. When am I getting a rock drake egg? Nathan, after I get a radiation suit so that I can get down there. Old dog. Yes. Those do exist here, Schwal. I prefer the Shinehorns or the Geckos. I love both. Those are my favorites. Shinehorns and Glowtails. Which are just Geckos with light-up tails. Good idea. Yeah. Um, I want a Rock Drake as soon as possible, but uh, the reality is it's going to be hard to get. On this game, like, I just need a couple of yellow drops. Just a couple. I might actually have to go harvest more white drops and see if I can get more sleeping bags and just set up sleeping bags next to every drop location with a little box next to it. Fast travel around, dumping all of the drops into the, uh, into the boxes. That might actually be the way to go. All right, come on. Just keep going, guys. You got this. Four, five, six, seven. Oh, they killed the piranha. Well, the dogs are your number one, followed by the feather lights. We have exactly opposite ideas on our light pets. Arc Mobile is dead. From a development standpoint, currently, yes. Not saying it couldn't be revived. But um, they are currently not doing any active development. They are not bringing out any new content or anything. I would not say it's a dead game. There are plenty of people still playing it. Um, it's just not being actively developed at the moment, which is fine. Um, I don't typically call games that aren't being actively developed dead. Like... There are plenty of games that are still good and playable years later. Arc Mobile will be one of them. No competition for Light Bet Tames and Hard Knock 2, then perfect. Right? It's going to be really easy. That would actually be nice because then you could go and get multiple Light Pets, right? Like one person could just stay in the other person's Light Pet circle, come down to the blue zone, get your Shine Horn. No big deal. That'd be kind of nice. I like the idea. <laughs> Can I take the invisible dragon things? Uh, Diamond, those are rock drakes. I can't tame them yet. I need to be able to get down to where their eggs are. They're basically the wyverns of aberration, so you have to tame them by stealing their eggs and raising them. Um, once I can get down into the radiation zone where they live... 
I should be able to get an egg and get out of there somehow. Hard to do at the moment. But it is something I'm trying to do. Bubkiss. Absolutely nothing. These drops are being extremely uncooperative. All right. All right. Hmm. Go check this edge. Da, da, da. Um, which wall face reveal when? I don't know if Schwal plans on revealing their face. Kind of smart not to in some ways. Keeps the mystery going. Once people know what you look like, a lot of people become a lot less interested in the channel. It's kind of a funky thing. Nothing. Was really hoping there would be a drop up here. I don't see anything. No, they're all so far away. Urgh. All right, the next place, best place to go is down. Big pain. Don't like it. Can, should, don't want to. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoops. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Come on, guys. Wonderful. All right. So we're going to check down this edge. Because this is where all the drops are, supposedly. We shall see. Um... I think you'd rather go Aberration O'Ingrams or Tames uh, than do PvP, to be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh. Schwal is literally on the same wavelength as me when it comes to that. Challenge modes over PvP any day. PvP can be fun. I've done a very small amount of it and enjoyed it, but it's like, for the most part, it's just really unpleasant. Okay, we'd be doing the searching for drops thing. I don't see any up there. They should all be along this shore. Haha! -ha! A blue drop. A purple drop. It is a thing. I've never had such disappointment in my life for these things. Blue, purple, uh, the hype. Schwa, yeah, it probably won't have the saddle, but at least I'll know where to go to get the yellow drops, right? Like, that's the goal. They killed each other. They all murdered each other. That's fantastic, actually. I find that funny. Ah! 
Really? My boots. Not my boots. I'm also waiting for another Ravager saddle. That'd be nice. Okay, so any of the ones along here, and then there's two further down. Okay. So these are the ones I knew about before. Please don't. Please don't. Can you do it now? Yay. Kind of nice. Okay, got them all. And then there's one up there that I cannot get. Uh, one spawns on top of this little metal thingy. Dun, dun, dun. But I don't see that. And there might be one up here occasionally, but I'm not seeing it. Or up there, which I'm also not seeing. So that's fine then. Cool. Okay, so these are the other potential yellow drops. And then there's one across the land bridge. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. Am I headed the right way? Seems like. Those are spores. I can't go that way. That sucks. Maybe over here? Okay, so there's a way around. Cool. Um, all right, I see nothing. Do not see any drops this direction. I'm very far inland now. Might be able to find some up there. Where did the charge... Oh, it's over there. I didn't want to go find that charge station. Okay. Uh, are there any... Glow bugs? There's one way over there. Glow bug, glow bug. Cool. Okay. Ha! Ah, this way. Okay, so if I kept going, it looks like there's a couple of drops um, at the top of this, maybe? That might be a thing. Not sure it's worth going to check out. And then all along the back wall there... But those are much harder to get to. That's a very long trip. All right. So far, though, I think I've found a couple of fairly easy places to check. Seamless minimum hardware requirements for the games in their descriptions. Yes, it does. Do I play Grounded? I have played Grounded. 
It has been a little bit, but I have played it. Icky spores. Don't like that. I'm gonna go back this way. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. This area is nice and open. I like it. It's nice. It's not as difficult to navigate. Stamina. This is also why I want a Ravager. The stamina is way better. Okay. I'm going to go back along this edge and see if there's any new interesting drops up this way. Do, do, do. Does not look like it. That's radiation. Oh. I mean, there's a shine horn there. But I might be going a tad too far. Yeah, I'm headed into the radiation. That's not what we want. Okay. Do -do. Wrong way. Sacrifice a Ravager to the Ark Gods for a yellow drop. I know, right? I would. At this point. I don't even know if I can open them yet. That's, like, the hard part. It's very weird lighting. This way. There it is. That's what I was looking for. So, see, there should be drops, like, up there and down here, and I'm just not seeing any. Not should be, but could be. Nothing. A lick plant. A glow bugger. Did you come down? He says no. Nothing up there. Keep running by all of my loot, right? Loot, right? Loot runs. Whoops. Alright, but at least I have a little zone kind of... Really, guys? Quit looking at nothing. At least I have a little zone run figured out. I think I've got it now. This little loot crate run is pretty good. Check the ones up top. Hop down. Check the ones down below. Run back. Easy peasy. Yep. That's the method. I was waiting for that. Yep. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of there. Hey, blue drop, blue drop. I think this is one of the ones that can also spawn yellow. Nice. Nope. Needed. There we go. Okay. Got myself a little... A little run. I like it. Basically, this whole side of the map is decent. And then there's potentially ones up there. Why are you guys stuck on Bob? Are you kidding me? Bob! Bob, quit stealing my Ravager! 
Good lord. Just kept pushing him out of the way. <laughs> Ravager levels uh, for speed to zoom around and avoid fights could speed things up. Oh, for sure. The only thing I'd have to fear is getting uh, trapped, which does happen, um, or getting pushed around, which does happen. Like, getting picked up on a Megalo unexpectedly is terrifying if you run out of Sam on a Ravager. Uh, it's not good. I typically travel in packs for that reason. Why make glow sticks when you can eat glow bugs? <laughs> glow sticks are nice for when you um, have to have them. If that makes sense. So, like, when you can't use a, a glow bug for whatever reason. They're a very nice alternative. Cosmo. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Do appreciate it. Hope you have a great rest of your night. All right. Now, the trick is getting back up. So, I think I have a good little loop I can, I can run here. It's a little iffy on the end part. But essentially, I go back up to the green zone and then start my loop all over again. Check the ones up top, jump down, run back. I'm afraid that's going to be a very strong rock drake. I'm actually quite afraid of this rock drake. <laughs> Keeps telling me there's a max level and I have a bad feeling that that guy's gonna hurt if I go over there. <laughs> glow sticks are haunting Iggy, for real. I can never get enough glow sticks on this game, apparently. I have hundreds. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, he hurt. I want to help. I need to help. Hoo hoo, that was a max level rock drake. Ouch. I'll take those. That boy hurt real bad. All right, come on everybody. You did so good. Yeah, we beat up that max level. Over max level. Max level on this game is 120. Hello, Shinehorn. So, uh, that was a 152. I think that was the max max level. If that makes any sense at all. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. And then I gotta run all the way along this shore to loop back up to the green zone, which is annoying. But, is doable. Rock Drake falling into the water. That's lovely. Four, five, six, seven. And up we go. You now, the reasoning behind why a nameless can turn into a Reaper. Uh, nameless don't turn into Reapers. They, um,. Summon Reaper Queens. So if you go too long without your light, basically the Nameless kind of worship the Reaper Queens is what I'm getting out of that. And uh, the Reaper Queen will appear if there's a lot of Nameless in one spot. I don't know if they actually summon the Reaper Queen or if the Reaper Queen is like hunting them and so shows up where there's a lot of Nameless to eat. You know? It's hard to tell. All right, guys, come on. You already ate it. Let's go. Okay, so this is a fairly reasonable loop. This is a cool-looking Megalo. I feel bad murdering this one. He's beautiful. 
Guys, no. I'm so, so way down. No! Oh my god. I hate being weighed down. I hate it. I hate it so much. Finally. Mm. All right. I think they might have glitched it into the wall. Come on. Okay, that was annoying. I had to go all the way back down. We had just done this. It's a pretty megalo, though. Summon a king, not a queen, right? Uh, no, they summon a reaper queen, Schwal. Not one of the ones you can get to, uh, implant you or whatever, but they summon a reaper queen. Because the reaper queens are technically stronger than the reaper kings. Uh, Dylan, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome. You have been noticed. Haha. -ha. Almost freedom. Am I doing this without cryopods? Yes. I don't have any. If only you could get it to egg. <laughs> I know, right? That would actually be ideal. But I'm pretty sure that's why they made it not one of the ones that will implant you. Because uh, then it would be too easy to get them. Oh boy, my... My Giganta's looking a little sad. A little worse for the wear. Kings are only on the surface. Uh, spawned from implants by a Reaper Queen, correct? Um, Yes, Jennings. Yes. Exactly. Reaper Kings are up on the surface. They're actually... Weaker than Reaper Queens, because Reaper Queens are far more terrifying. Um, and they're only up on the surface, or... Um, ooh. Almost got me in those mushrooms. Only up on the surface, or the ones that you can tame, because you can get implanted by a Reaper Queen to create a Reaper King. But you can't have a Reaper Queen. It is impossible. Cry upon. Is Dinosaurage mod way better? I would... Yes, I agree with you. Dinosaurage mod is way better. But I would take a cryopod on this game because it's no Ingram. So if a cryopod landed in my lap, I would not be upset. Why did I do that? Wish Reaper lore was expanded. Like, what else can Queen's Ego to make new kings? How are new kings made? You crave lore. How are new queens made? That's my question. No. No. No! I've lost one. <sighs> I do enjoy the lore as well. I wish there was more lore on aberrant creatures in general. Like, what are they actually supposed to be? Because a lot of people theorize about it, but that's not, like, a hard solution. There you go, buddy. Come on. Blue crew's getting separated again. For example, Ravagers, are they irradiated direwolves? It's a good question. Seems like they are, but that's an easy one. How are new queens made? Ah, yep. Exactly. Uh, do I have wyvern dragons? Uh, not on this map. There aren't any. There are rock drakes, but I'm not at the point where I can get one yet. Don't know what's worse, Piggy. The drops, both sticks, or losing Ravagers. I don't know. They're all a little rough, you know? 
Like, they're all a little tricky. All right, and now we can run the loop again. Now that I have a loop figured out where I know yellow drops spawn, uh, the odds aren't amazing, but I will take it. what I can do. Fill my water jar. Like, not a derp. Like a proper survivor. Rockwell personally gives birth to each queen. Yes. I like that. They're all his babies. Sounds feasible. Yeah. Everyone's like, we're on board with that lore. Make it official. Uh. <laughs> Guarantee one of them's going to get stuck on a rock. Almost. They didn't, though. I'm proud of them. All right, let's charge up real quick. Go check these two up here, and then maybe drop down and go check the lower run again. Maybe they'll have respawned. I don't know. Um, Nathan says you got a snap. A snap what? Uh, Dylan, yes, I am riding a... It's a Yeti. It's a Gigantopithecus, an aberrant one. This one's actually mutated. It's not a good mutation. It's a food mutation. But it's nice. This is why I make the charge regen on my shine horns like absurdly high so that I'm never without light for very long. A well fed compi, actually. Mm hmm. You got a little beefy. A little too much protein. I probably should have laid off. Uh, you guys are awesome. Come on, blue crew. I'm out of stamina. Four, five, six, seven. I feel like I'm counting the dwarves. In like a children's rhyme. How many ravagers do you see? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. It's awful. Hello. That's not what I wanted to see here. No. <laughs> Those are too heavy. Get off. We don't want all this. Promise. All right, let's come up here. Away from the dangerous edge. We're not going to look at the fact that I have no pants right now. We're going to fix it. We're going to make pants. Hide. Okay. What do I need? More polymer? That's fine. I think I have that. We're getting a little hurt, but not bad. Luckily, I can kind of mobily repair things. Dude, I have so much meat. <laughs> okay. I 
don't need it. I really don't. I have so much. Ah, less weight. Okay. <laughs> have I ever tamed a... A tech rex? Yes, I have tamed a tech rex. Uh, I believe I've tamed them on stream more than in videos. Yeah, I'm usually on a stream when I find one of those and not making a video. Right, this way. I'm remembering my own path. Thought we grew out of the no pants stage. I thought so too, but every now and then there's a jerk Arthur Plura who tries to bring it back. But I've been doing so well. This game has given me so many pants. It's wonderful. I'm a big fan. Big fan of the pants movement. All right, no drops up here. Whoop. Let's jump everybody down here. Oi. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woohoo. We've done it. All right. Beautiful. Um, <laughs> oh, we somebody clip it. Oh, my gosh, wall. Oh. I do those a lot. I, d I do need to start clipping them myself so that I can actually make a, a Wii compilation. I have a couple. I have a couple clipped on the Twitch, but I need some more from the YouTube. Do I have a Maywing? Uh, yeah, I have tamed Maywings before. Has happened. Ooh, blue drop. It's not yellow. Oh, why is it in such an awful spot? Those ones are so annoying to get to. If I had climbing hooks, I would be able to get that a lot easier. But I don't. Unfortunately. I can get, like, close to it and then try to jump on it. But I don't trust myself to not fall into the aberration zone. Aberration zone. The, uh, the radiation zone. That's the word. Alright, I'm not seeing any drops here. Yeah. If I could jump on that, I don't know how I would get off. I can definitely climb to it. Don't know if I can jump over the back of it. No, would not be able to jump over the back of it. Would have to jump down the side, which is a straight drop into um, a raging river of element. I need climbing hooks for that drop. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right. I 
I think there's that one, and then I think there might be one like up here, but I don't see it. Nothing. All righty. Turn around and head back. You should probably check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Okay. Do, do, do. Go, go, go. Creepy shadows. I hate falling into the aberration zone when playing on this map. Yeah, right? It's the worst. Uh, JT, how's it going? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome on in, man. Keep going up, CC. Keep going up. What do you mean? What do you mean? If I keep going up, I hit the radiation zone. That's not, that's not a good place to be. It was right behind me. I was almost into it. Not where I want to be. It's okay, I'm looking. There's no drop there. Dang it. Got it. I'm a genius. All right. <laughs> Jump at the glow bugs for 10 minutes. Hey, blue drop. This is a nice loot run. Still no yellow drops, but you know. I consistently get drops. Zipline anchor. Zipline anchor! That's fantastic, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if only I had a smithy where I could craft those. That's actually a decent little blueprint I've just gotten. Do, 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 do. That is a very, very cyan snake. Or it was until I murdered it in cold blood. Guys, we've talked about this. <laughs> Does that need the smithy to make? That's a good question. That is the right one. Um, uh, yes. Either, either way, it would take another, it would take a smithy because I can only fire them out of crossbows and um, I can't make a crossbow without a smithy. So, still gotta keep searching for the yellow drops, but we're doing pretty good. Like, we're getting drops now. Now that we've got a run, uh, which is lovely. Waiting for him to be full charge again. They're admiring the cyan, and honestly, you can't blame them. I mean, it did look really nice. You have a geometry test to make up tomorrow? You skipped it doing an agriculture thing. You got to lead a bunch of 4th graders around to different agriculture themed stations. That's actually really cool, JT. I love that you were able to do that. That's gotta be... That's gotta be pretty fun. Hello, frog. Come on, everybody. Ravagers are a little slow across the water. Good night, JT. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Do appreciate the stop by. Have a good one and good luck on the exam. Unknown at Ardera, you've been watching you since Arc Mobile? Since Arc Mobile first released? Because that's how long I've been doing content, basically. Yeah, why not?
Nice. Come on, guys. That was a good job. That was a job well done. They murdered him right in his little face. I'm so proud. This isn't a terrible loot run. I don't mind it. Most of the loot's in, like... Where? I literally just had seven. What? Where? Ah! Stop doing that! I hate it when they glitch out of existence. How many megalos in this run either? There's a bigger possibility of Speed Ravager. Yeah, actually. A Speed Ravager could do it easily. I just need to get a pre-made saddle again, and I'm golden. Um, I might have to fight some to get the drops, which would suck. But it's possible. You wouldn't do to try Karknos meat? You already love crafts, so you feel like it'd be bliss. I don't know. Sometimes the bigger versions of things are not good. You're welcome. I just rescued that little guy. I feel like a hero. Okay, now I have seven. Um, another, you know, Arc 2's coming, so you're ready to watch me? Ooh. I'm actually really excited for Arc 2. Can't wait to have you there with us. I think it's going to be a good time. Oh, it just, like, hissed at me. It got mad when I took its glow. Not that I'm... Not that I totally blame it. The hissing was a bit much. All right. Cool. Do, do, do. Could also just use a horse, to be honest. Um... Yeah. Again, my major problems are like if I run into a ravager group and I get slashed by a ravager I'm stuck if I have a situation like this where I run into a megalo and it grabs my tame out from under me I suddenly have a much bigger problem so it's good to have a crew because megalos are like stupid strong Four, five. No. Oh, there. There he is. Oh my god, it's green. What color are you? That's like the most hideous shinehorn I've ever seen. I love it. I want it. I'm not going to tame it. I refuse. It's too hideous for this world. Oh, Ravagers. See, a Ravager pack like this that's like literally blocking the path where you're basically guaranteed to have to fight it. Uh, they can wreck a horse pretty quickly if it's solo. The Thanksgiving things are showing up. Quit looking. 
I have to like harvest it so they'll stop looking at it. Come on. Think I got them all. Uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's, it's such a weird set of colors. I wasn't sure how I felt about it. He's doing the worm. Look at him do it. He's doing so good. Oons, 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 oons. Go, buddy, go. All right. I'm bored. Um, <laughs> you wanted to download Ark on your PC, but it's eight dollars. Eight dollars is cheap, my friend. That's about the cheapest PC game you'll ever get. Aside from the free ones, but those usually aren't worth playing, except Ark, which has been free before. Ark Two is coming out though, so that's part of it. Uh, Arter, they're, they might be in a different region, um, but yeah, definitely always check whenever there's a sale going on, and there was a big sale going on for Black Friday, um, or Cyber Monday, always check, because Steam puts on some really, really good sales, and if you get the base game for basically free, there are tons and tons and tons of DLC maps and DLC mods and things that you can play with that can basically take up a lot of time. Uh, not having the official maps, not that big a deal on ARC. I always recommend waiting for the Steam Summer Sale. That's usually the best deal. That's usually when they're cheapest. But anytime you can get it for less than like $5, I'm like, yeah, go for it. It's worth that. It's well worth that. Might as well show some love to the developers. They did conceptualize this whole game. Count again, you think you counted six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four in front and three in back. We got them. Bought it though, nice. Unknown, still worth it. Even if you paid a little extra for it, it's still worth it, I promise. Biggest pain of not having the official maps, not being able to use DLC creature chibis. Yeah. That would be kind of painful. It's a little weird how they've connected the, the DLCs together, though, because honestly, like, I own all the DLCs, but they didn't make it so that you could unlock all the different Ingrams on each DLC. It was a whole thing. They weren't designed to play well together. Um, so it's, it's a little funky. All right, we're headed back as soon as I get some stamina. Okay. Um, I know, right, Diamond? Waiting for all of a sudden there'll just be an eighth one and I'll be like, what, how, when, where? What are you? I'll be very confused. Got a Rock Drake Chibi but can't use it? Oh my god, I would cry. Rock Drake Chibis are like so cute. Bought it right before it was free. You don't regret it? Yeah. Exactly. It's never something to regret. And at least you supported the devs and helped them continue to make a, a good game and hopefully a better game with Ark 2. Unknown Ardor. Yep. Exactly. Kieran, it's 5 a.m. for you. That's really... That's really very early. Have you stayed up that late or did you get up that early? Either way, it's not okay. <laughs> I usually can't make it past uh, about 2 a.m. anymore. I'm just, I'm too tired. Too tired all the time. Well, 
Little river. The sad part is I have this long neck rifle and this long neck rifle would actually probably be great to take into the first cave if I could get bullets for it, which I can't. It's upsetting. Uh, to buy a, a new HDD for all the DLC. Yep. I have a, I have an SSD that is dedicated to ARC. <laughs> Pretty much the whole thing. Pretty sad. All right, we still got them all. Wasted, how's it going? It's been a little bit. I'm doing really good. Um, really enjoyed my long weekend. It was Thanksgiving in the States here, so I got to take a nice little break from work. Uh, I think I had five days that I took, and they were busy five days because life is still a thing, but uh, it was nice. It was good to be able to take the time. Wow, when did I get these levels? We're almost at 5k. Oh! Hey! I got some nameless venom! I didn't even realize. That's cool! Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I have it now. Oh my god, I got a zipline anchor. A pre-made one. I don't know what we killed that gave us that, but that's neat. I'll take it, I'll take it. These are good things. Sometimes it's fun to go back through and see what your uh, critters picked up. Getting a few Trank arrows, which is lovely. Once I get a crossbow going, that'll be really nice. I'm going to have to empty these guys out a little bit. Oh, wow. We do not need 100 spoiled meat. Got all that metal that I can't make yet. Um, Don't need that. Wow. Four... A good number. A goodly number of things is what we've gotten. Pretty happy with that. Alrighty. Let's go put all this away. Zipline anchors make me happy. Alright, let's see. I have 24 Trank arrows. That's not quite enough to take out a uh, Megalo, but we're getting there. I think a few more trips and we'll have it. A few more trips and murdering things and we'll have it. Da, da, da. Nameless drop the anchors? Really? Dude, I'm going to go summon more Nameless. You know, once I have a smithy so I can make a crossbow so I can use it. Or once I pick up a maid crossbow. Because that would be pretty cool. 57, 55. Babies, I'm so sorry. They're quite useless to me. I was waiting for my Thanksgiving stream. Oh, yeah, I did. I did not have time. I was going from 9 a.m. until midnight on thanksgiving i had three different events to go to um for various family so it was a lot very very busy day yeah if i had just been sitting at home i probably would have done it but i wasn't once you get a smithy you can just make them yeah but it's not the same schwal <laughs> i like getting them for free Actually, that's a that's a great question. I'm curious. Metal, stone arrows, fungal wood, and fiber. See, then I don't have to use 15 metal for my arrows, which I also cannot make. And can only harvest from things. It's a whole thing. Good night, Ellen. Thank you so much for hanging out. 
You were up all night in the UK. Oh my gosh. Karen, that's impressive. <laughs> uh, can I play on South African servers? Unknown, I would probably be really, really laggy because I am West Coast US, which is pretty far away from uh, South Africa. So I doubt I would be able to play on them without um, significant lag, which is unfortunate. But all right, guys. Um, I do think that's going to do it for today's stream, guys. Uh, we do finally have a loot run figured out. We'll keep hitting that up. I'll try to do it offline some and see if we can't get any yellow drops, but I'm real excited. Hopefully you guys are too. Thank you all. Uh, Nathan, yes, we can definitely name something Snorlax for you. Probably a Gigantopithecus. I'll find one. I'll find one that'll be good for that. But yeah, guys, uh, please remember to hit the like button on your way out. It seriously does help me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And I am going to go ahead and catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is the Iguana. <laughs>